um, A plus the um, order of operations is hugely important. And some of y'all have, have screamed right past all of this, but this is a place where a lot of people get hung up. So I wanted to, um, to take some time to just real quickly go over your order of operations. You've heard of my, oh, what do I have to do here? I'm going to click a button. Okay, so I want the pen. Okay, you've heard of my dear Aunt Sally. And my dear Aunt Sally basically means you multiply and divide through the problem, and then you go back and you add and subtract. So the, um, but first, you do the power, the parentheses, or the exponents. So please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. So we're first going to handle the parentheses. So I'm going to write, write this whole problem again, 8 plus 8 times, and then the 18 minus 16 is just 2, and then divided by 4. But we've got to watch out for these brackets. We've got this square bracket going on here. So I want to make sure that I put that bracket in and don't lose it. So it's going to go right there. So within the bracket, I want to get and have a multiplication or division, and then addition or subtraction. So I'm going to multiply the 8 times 2. So I've got 8 plus 16, and that's still in the brackets. And then I'm going to divide that by 4. And of course, 8 plus 16 is 24 divided by 4 is 6, okay? So the important thing about the order of operations is really just that you're going to take multiple passes through the problem, working first parentheses and exponents, and then multiplication and division, and then addition and subtraction. Now, another thing I'm going to recommend to you is that we have this explain button. And the first time you look at the problem, I recommend that you hit explain, and that'll give you a full explanation of the how you should work it. And perhaps if it's one that's very confusing to you, go ahead and print it out. And then on the, the notes, on that, use it as a note sheet. And each new problem you get, then write it down and work them all there on the same sheet. So that when you find it on the exam, or later on you have to go back and do it again, you have a reference, and you can find it in order to figure out what you need to do.